Bro, yeah. epic. That was epic. Good job, we fished six hours for one bite and we got it, you guys. Yeah, a lot of time and effort. Well done. Pull that out here. We got yeah, one. That shit was awesome, dude. We got one. Great food in it, man. My name is Bill Davalier and I'm down here at Bud and Mary's Marina in Isla Mirada. We're down here with our nonprofit company called Grayfish Tag Research. We've just come off one of the most amazing days of sword fishing with Captain Nick Stanzik. Um, it was part of a great sponsor group. Our goal was to catch, tag, and release a swordfish and mission accomplished. <laughs> We've got a lot of questions and we've got a four month tag pre program. We're ready to go. What do you think, Cap? I think we need a big, healthy fish and we want to learn more about these fish so we can uh, you know, keep them in our uh, charter fleet and our fish target for all the recreational fishermen for us for the years to come. This right here is the Wildlife Computer Satellite Tag and we're getting ready to put this in hopefully a swordfish that's hooked up on our jug rod. Captain Nick put us on the meet here and uh, we're getting ready to deploy this. This is set for four months, so we're going to know what the fish does in 20 second intervals. An increase in success, our percentage of recapture is double, and it's because of the network of professional fishermen that we work with. We work with over 10,000 fishermen around the world, in every country, everywhere fishing is popular. Swordfish have been satellite tagged before but the fishermen want to know more. We know they're on the surface at night. We know they're on the bottom during the day. We know they're going from top to bottom at some point in the day. My question for Nick all day is going to be, is there a sweet spot we can target them at all? We know they're in the middle. At times, we want to see duration at depth on these tags. So let's see what happens, because we don't know. I'm Nick Stanzik. Welcome to the Broad Minded. So I'm known for sword fishing. We do a lot of daytime deep dropping for them. We fish anywhere from 1,500, 1,800 feet on average. These are some of the reels we use. These are all Penn International 80s. And now this other reel over here, this is a detachable drive, so the motor actually comes on and off. If you want to use electric, you can, especially if you want to check your bait. But if you want to hand crank, you take the motor off, engage the handle, and you can turn it by hand and use it as a conventional reel. We fish a heavy lead. We're in the middle of the Gulf Stream out there. Sometimes that current's moving four knots or even more, four and a half knots. On average, two to three knots but we're fishing down deep for these fish, and um, you just never know where you can hook that giant. Bait's moving, so we're trying to drop it back to replicate it in the wild. Normally they swat a bait, it dies, falls, and they turn around and eat it. And that's what we're trying to reproduce right here. We got a swordfish on there, what is it, about 1.30, I guess? Yeah, 1.45, almost two o'clock. Got out here early at eight o'clock in the morning. We're trying to get a tag out of Swordfish today. We got one on right now, so fingers crossed he stays on there. The other boat's out here too. He's got one on. They're just starting to bite. Pretty fish there. He fought like heck. He was hooked right in the corner, so no damage to him. You know, that's science and that's research, so we'll see what happens and get more information about the Swordfish there and learn more about their population, the stocks and all that, where they travel, so exciting stuff here. So there's a lot of work to be done with all the fish that we love catching in the field of science and research. We don't know much about where they go, migration, the pressure on them, and there's very little real data that we know about. So our goal is to not only use telemetry tagging, which is satellite tagging, have a comprehensive study throughout Florida. This is the epicenter of where these fish come through in the straits, and um, this place right here is probably responsible for figuring out how to catch them during the day and sharing that with the planet. Um, these guys are pioneers in this fishery. <laughs>